Our solar system consists of the Sun and other objects which are in orbit around it. These objects include the eight planets and hundreds of dwarf planets together with their moons. Asteroids, meteoroids and comets are also included. Ninety-nine percent of the mass of the solar system is contained in our star, the Sun. The planet closest to the Sun is Mercury. Mercury is the first of the four inner rocky planets. In appearance, it is very similar to our own moon. Venus, the brightest of the planets, a beautiful sight at twilight, but its appearance is deceptive. This is a hostile world of massive storms and clouds of sulfuric acid. A comet majestically flies in from the edge of the solar system in its perilous journey around the sun and back out beyond the planets. Our moon, Earth's only natural satellite. Our home, Earth. Mars, the planet closest to the Earth. Mars has two small moons, Demos and Phobos, believed to be asteroids captured from the adjacent asteroid belt. Io is one of the four large moons of the first and largest of the gas giants. 
Jupiter. Jupiter is a world of high-speed winds and swirling gas clouds of mainly hydrogen and helium. These conditions result in features such as the coloured bands and famous red spot, a raging storm in progress for hundreds of years. In addition to Io, Jupiter has three other large moons, Europa, Callisto and Ganymede. It also has a series of faint, inconspicuous rings. Saturn. Famous for its spectacular system of rings and moons. Saturn has more than 50 moons orbiting the planet, some of which pass through the ring system. The largest of Saturn's moons is Titan. Saturn and its moons have been studied extensively by a space probe called Cassini. Cassini has been orbiting the planet for the last 10 years and in 2004 released a lander which successfully touched down on Titan. The Cassini mission has provided a wealth of scientific information and stunning photographs of the Saturn system. In July 2013, Cassini turned its cameras back towards Earth, nearly a billion miles away. The photograph showed Earth as a pale blue dot, appearing to nestle within the glowing bands of Saturn's rings. The pale blue-green planet Uranus, with its faint rings. Uranus has five main moons and 22 smaller satellites. Its axis of spin is tilted over at 98 degrees. It is believed that this is a result of a huge collision millions of years ago.
Uranus was visited by the space probe Voyager 2 in 1986, providing stunning photographs of the planet. The fourth and final gas giant, Neptune. Neptune is another world of high speed winds and storms, and it is very similar to planet Uranus. It also has a faint ring system. The existence of Neptune was predicted many years before it was actually observed, due to discrepancies in the orbit of Uranus. Neptune's biggest moon is Triton. It has 12 other smaller moons. As we journey beyond Neptune, we encounter the dwarf planet Pluto and its main moon, Charon. Pluto is one of hundreds of dwarf planets and asteroids in this area of the solar system, whose average orbit is beyond Neptune and are known as the trans-Neptunian objects. Other dwarf planets in this region include Maki Maki and Hormia. This area of the system is known as the Kuiper Belt, which also contains many thousands of frozen remnants from the formation of the solar system. Beyond the Kuiper Belt is a region called the Scattered Disk, containing objects with orbits taking them up to 100 astronomical units from the Sun. The disk is the source of periodic comets. Beyond the scattered disk is a spherical cloud of icy bodies called the Oort cloud. This extends to almost one light year from the sun and is a source of comets from the very edge of our solar system.